Yeah, hey, y'all know who this is. It's your boy, Mr. Shasita, man. We in art class right now, redoing one of my projects. My teacher told us take one of your favorite body parts, you know what I'm saying, and make it into a painting and give us a story about it. So this one chick, man, I ain't gonna even hate on shorty, man. She like painted her vagina, but then she like painted like two or three dudes fighting over the vagina, and she called it vaginal warfare, and I was like, damn, it was real gangsta, I can't even lie, so I was like, shit, I ain't gonna let you outdo me, so, um, well, let me show you what I painted. So then it was my turn to present my picture, you know what I'm saying, I was like really excited, so then I was like, okay, what I painted right here was this, and she was like, now what do we call this painting? I was like, uh, I like to call this painting, Get Off My Penis. Uh, a lot of brothers like to hate on me, so I drew a million haters right here. I drew a special hater for the dude who's always hanging on to my dick for dear life, like he gonna die. And then I drew this one dude in green, because I get a thousand environmentalist letters from people who say my Chevy Caprice wastes gas and I'm killing the earth. So this dude is actually straddling my dick, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, right, um... I feel the passion, I think this is very creative, but I don't think we're going to be able to hang that in the gallery. Oh, okay, so now I got to redo my painting? <laughs> hey, it's all good, it don't matter to me. Shit, I'll redo it, I can care less, you know what I'm saying? So, we doing this right here, and I figure since I'm in here right now doing this, we might as well talk about Carrie Hilson's punk ass. Uh, two of the three weeks before she dropped her album and before she came out here to Chicago, I get an email from one of her management team people talking about, Hi, Shy City. Listen, love the videos. Ha, awesome. Where do you come up with this crazy stuff? Listen, Shy. What we want is Carrie Hilson, Mr. Shy City, in an interview on YouTube. Can we make it happen? So I wrote him back. I said, "Hey, man, real talk. I appreciate the fact that y'all even consider a uh, no name." No talent having brother like myself to do something like that. But real talk though, I'm not good at interviews. I don't even know what to ask the chick. You know what I'm saying? You know, I may say something to make her mad. I'm not really like, you know, I, and I'm kind of random. You know what I'm saying? So I can't do it. But thank you for the love and the support, man. I really appreciate it. So they hit me up literally like 48 seconds after I sent the email. Hey, 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 can we call you? Can we talk to you over the phone? So I was like, yeah, cool. They get me on the phone, shy sitter, man, shy sitter, man. <laughs> that is so creative. Listen, Carrie Hilson wants to talk to you. So I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know, instantly my balls is getting filled up. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, okay. I tried to play it off on some cool shit, but I was like, all right, cool. So she gets on the phone with me, nigga, I can't even talk. And I'm going to be a real brother about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone talking about... <sighs> Hi, hi, how are you doing? Hi, what's going on? She was like, hi, is this Mr. Shy City? I was like, yeah, what's up, babe? Um, listen, the interview's gonna be real cool, real relaxed, we can do it in my hotel room. So now, of course, being the type of brother I am, you tell me we can do something in your hotel room, hell yeah, I'm gonna be in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they really got me to do the fucking interview in the first place. So now I'm like, all right, cool, you know, then I'll just do my thing. They told me I can ask whatever I want, so it's all love. So I was like, all right, fine. Four days before the interview, I get another phone call. Hi, Mr. Shy Sitter Main. Listen, Carrie wants to know what you're gonna ask her. And I was like, dog, I don't know. Shit, you know, I, I didn't really think about it. You told me I could ask anything I wanted. Now we changing our minds? No, 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 we just wanna have a heads up. So I was like, well, one of my questions was, was gonna be on, um, does she really write her own music? Because I'm hearing that she works with a team of writers, but she's trying to act like she's the only chick writing for her. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, ooh, yeah, I can't ask that. He's like, what else you got? I was like, well, I mean, dude, real talk. I mean, I hang out with bisexual women and lesbians. And if you're a real brother, you already know why I do that. Exactly, because I'm hoping I can join one day. <laughs> hey, 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 that's real talk, though. So every time a gay chick that I'm around sees Carrie Hilson on TV, they're always talking about that she's gay. They always say, because gay women know gay women when they see them, and they all say the same thing. Like, no, uh-uh, she gay. Look at her eyebrows. I know that chick. She gay. So, and I wasn't going to be disrespectful with it. I was going to be like, yo, um, you know, is being a homosexual something that really affects your music? Like, I was going to be a straight pro with the shit. They telling me I can't ask that question. Then he said, you have anything else? I was like, yeah, well, I was going to ask about the whole Beyonce situation. We're really trying to avoid that whole Beyonce thing. I'm like, nigga, how can you avoid it? That's the only reason why anybody wants to talk to this boring ass chick. Like, if it wasn't for that, this chick's like as boring as fucking Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams. Come on, man. So, 
At the end of the conversation, they decide, hey, Shy, listen, why don't we go ahead and get 10 albums of Carrie's new songs and her new CDs? We'll have her autograph them. You can give them to all the people on YouTube. I was like, yo, that's cool as hell. Shit, all right, well, send me the albums. They're like, well, look, we don't have time. Go buy them and we'll reimburse you. I was like, damn, man, all right, fine, I'm gonna do it. So I went out, I bought 10 Carrie Hilson albums for her to sign. The day of the interview, they're not calling me. The day of the interview, they're not making no contacts. So now I hit them up like, yo, what the fuck, what's up? They gonna tell me, hey, listen, all right, Shy, listen, um, Carrie's kind of on a roll right now, you know? I mean, she's, she's, she's kind of moving things along. She's selling albums. She's uh, kind of big time now, man, you know? And she just did BET Spring Bling, you know? So I don't know if we're going to be able to do the interview. I mean, you know, you're still kind of a small time dude. But listen, by next year, she's going to do another album, get a couple more subscribers. Hell, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll talk to you about doing the interview. Now, mind you. Being a small time dude don't bother me. I'll be small time. The problem is, motherfucker, you knew I was small time four weeks ago when you asked me to do the interview. Number one. Number two, pause. Carrie Hilson, you big time now because you did BET Spring Bling? BET Spring Bling? We're talking about the same BET that has no creative people in their departments, so all they do is just dick ride MTV for all their shows? The same BET that just does the black version of everything MTV does. So now you, you big time now. Real fucking talk. See, let me tell you something. This is something I want to just put out there. You running around here in every interview talking about, I wrote for them, I wrote for her, I wrote for him. You want to know why? You want to know why you stay writing for superstars? Because you're not one. You don't have what it takes to be a superstar. That's why your monkey ass writes for superstars. See, I'm going to be the realest brother and say, I've been Pete Beyonce's game. Beyonce really ain't that talented at anything. Her dancing is average. Her voice, eh. Her looks, I know chicks in the hood and the burbs of Chicago look better than that woman. But you want to know what Beyonce has that none of these other women in the game have? It's called the X Factor. That intangible thing, you can't explain it, but it makes her a superstar and she does everything just good enough to make it into a package and all these young girls want to be like her. And guess what, little mama? You ain't got that. You don't have it. Real talk. And that's coming from the realest brother ever. And I knew you weren't going to do the interview anyway because you're a coward because you're the same chick who dissed Beyonce and Sierra and then because you got nervous that Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father, if that's his name, I don't know, but Mr. Knowles, you got nervous because you thought he was going to end your career like he did Kelly Rowland when she stepped the fuck out of line. <laughs> That's what it is. How you going to get into an interview talking about, did I say Beyonce? What I meant to say was tree on say. Yes, that's my cousin. I wrote for her and she never paid me for anything. And when I said Sierra needs to fade out, what I meant to say was she needs to fade out into a colorful existence in which childbearing would be something that could be for her mathematical situation. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you serious? Carrie, this is what you do, okay? Because this happened to me one time. When you talk crazy and somebody calls you on it, you, you got to grab a full handful of your coochie. Grab that motherfucker. And when somebody says, did you say what you said? You grab it real hard and you say, yeah, I said that. Forget Beyonce. She ain't shit. I'm coming for her motherfucking head. I want to be top of the game. The world would have respected you right then and there. We would have all thought you were crazy as hell. Oh, you would have been crazy as hell. Because you ain't make no money last year. Not as much as Beyonce, but we would have respected you like, wow, she means what she says. So to see, and then, and, and like I said, I'm not mad you didn't do the interview. Who, chick, who is you? Like, real talk, I'm mad that y'all stuck me with 10 albums. 10 Carrie Hilson albums. Some people would say, dog, your beef is with her management, not her. No, because I talked to the chick twice. And I hope somebody makes a video that says I'm lying because then my next move is I'm going to post the conversations that we had on the internet and then I'll let you come back and explain to everybody why you lied about talking to me. Matter of fact, we're going to do it like this. You want one of these punk ass Carrie Hilson albums? I'll let you have one. Write me and let me know you want it. Give me your address. I'll send it to you. Hell, I'll put my autograph on the bitch. I don't give a... But I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it very simply. Very simply.
Carrie, you don't have the soul of a Keisha Coles or a Jasmine Sullivan. You don't have the dance moves of a Sierra. You don't have the music abilities of an Alicia Keys. And you damn sure ain't no Beyonce. Hell, chick, real fucking talk, you're not even a Solange. And that's how I know you a real coward, because if you wanted a real fight, you would have hollered at Solange in this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck yelling at Beyonce. You knew Beyonce wasn't going to say nothing to you. She's too major. You know Solange ain't selling no albums. She's got all the time in the world. If you would have said something about Solange, Solange and Lala would have been at your motherfucking doorstep with four baseball bats like, uh... Excuse me, did you, you, you said something in a radio interview? Can I talk to you about that shit? You knew they would have been at your doorstep because Lala and uh, Solange ain't got nothing to do. They just take pictures and post them on MediaTakeout.com so they can just continue to seem relevant. I gave y'all, what, four, five months to get your shit together and you still don't want to pay me? Then that's what it is. Y'all know who it is. I'm going to keep giving you that real. I got the Chevy Caprice video coming, so you already know. Shots to the main. Don't I, don't I do it, B. Don't I blow some stairs?